Our next bout tonight, scheduled for singles action, one ball with four minute time limit. bell sounds and it is Andrew Everett going one-on-one -on -one with the outsiding invader Zane Dawson. Brad Stutz in the booth with Michael McAllister for CWF Mid-Atlantic and Michael this is a matchup that's been brewing for a number of months. Zane Dawson feels he should be a part of the CWF roster and he has been held back from doing so from being on the team so to speak at CWF UF, and as an outsider, he has targeted Andrew Everett. CWF Mid-Atlantic is literally in Andrew Everett's blood. Well, I mean, I would have to agree with Zane Dawson. I mean, he, he should be in this CWF roster. Look at that man. He is such a great competitor. He is tough, tough as nails. His toughness, his intensity is second to none, but the fact of the matter is, when Dawson was invited to CWF Mid-Atlantic earlier this year, he showed no respect for the rules, no respect for the authority. He struck officials. He destroyed furniture out in the lobby of the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium here in Gibsonville, North Carolina. It was Zane Dawson's own actions that keep him from being welcomed on the roster here at CWF Mid-Atlantic but Michael you're right he possesses all the talent all the toughness in the world he does belong among the best in the mid-atlantic but it is his attitude his refusal to follow even the simplest rules and orders that keep him as an outsider here at CWF mid-atlantic well attitude goes a long way but it also gets you a long way too and look at him right now taking Andrew Everett cross down to the mat but look this matchup is going to be amazing Andrew Everett Style. Andrew Everett, one of the highest flyers on the independent circuit today. And Zane Dawson, he likes to just demolish his opponents. <laughs> right, raw brutality and intensity from Zane Dawson. Andrew Everett can do anything in the air. Zane Dawson comes with the ground attack, and it is an interesting contrast of styles here at the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Everett charges, and Dawson sends him up and over. Everett strikes, heads up. Oh, oh See, good like, lord. One mistake can ground Everett for good also. And Dawson, Zane Dawson knows this. Dawson with great thinking. Oh, cover. This could be it right here. Only two. Dawson with great thinking may have just grounded Andrew Everett. Everett's best chance to win might be up in the air. And Zane Dawson might have just taken that away from him. Here at CWF Mid-Atlantic, we thank everyone that is joining us youtube.com backslash CWF Mid-Atlantic for this and other great matchups. We thank all of our Twitter followers who are following along at CWF Mid-Atlantic and we thank our 5,000 plus Facebook friends at facebook.com backslash CWF Mid-Atlantic. So many dedicated, loyal CWF super fans that follow along each and every week here in Gibsonville, North Carolina and Michael, it looks like the power Power of Dawson has in fact grounded Andrew Everett's high flying capabilities. It definitely has and I will say this for Andrew Everett he ha he's this kind of competitor that he will, if, if Zane Dawson wants to fight, he'll take it to him too I mean he, he won't give up he'll just keep coming at you but his best opportunity or best chance is to stay vertical and he's back up right now this is a big match for both men. Andrew Everett is a young man that we have literally watched grow up here at CWF Mid-Atlantic. Oh, God! Dawson comes with a hard knee into the rib cage and the sternum. Cover here from Dawson. Two and only two. We have literally seen Andrew Everett grow up here in CWF Mid-Atlantic. A win here will silence the claims from Dawson that he is as good or better than the best CWF Mid-Atlantic wrestlers. A win from Dawson here will have literally beaten one of the favorite sons of CWF Mid-Atlantic and Dawson will have legitimized his claim that he does indeed belong on the roster here at CWF Mid-Atlantic so the stakes are high for both Zane Dawson and Andrew Everett here in this matchup Brad Stutz and Michael McAllister thrilled to be calling this exciting matchup live from the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium in Gibsonville North 
North Carolina, and Michael, Zane Dawson has been in control for the last couple of minutes. He really has, and you have to think, if he does get that win here, does that open the door further for him here at the CWF? Or do people still say, no, your attitude needs to, you need to get that attitude in check, Zane Dawson? It's tough to sign on a guy for matches that you can't control. Uh-oh, Everett. Oh, Everett got nothing on that head scissor attempt. Zane Dawson, six foot three, 240 pounds out of Wilmington, North Carolina. And he is a bruiser, a throwback to a bruiser Brody, a Terry Bam Bam Gordy, a no nonsense, knock your head off your shoulders attitude is what Zane Dawson brings to the ring. If we could control him, he would be the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion, but we can't and not, and as a result, he has to settle for an invitation-only basis here in CWF Mid-Atlantic. But Michael, that could change if he is successful because right now he is demolishing Andrew Everett. And if Dawson scores the W here, if he scores the win, he may have silenced his critics. He may be signaling for an end here, Brad. Uh -oh. oh, you gotta watch for any high-flying move from Everett. You've gotta watch for that incredible lariat from Dawson. Dawson takes heads off with that lariat. Big fire up from Andrew Everett here. And Everett has not been able to knock the six foot three. Zane Dawson down. Lariat got nothing. Oh God, beautiful kick. Sends Dawson to the canvas. This Everett. is the biggest opening that Andrew Everett has had so far. And he covers him. Get it. Only, only two. Only two, Brad. That, that was amazing. That was a beautiful flying kick from Andrew Everett. And Everett now is thinking about what is it going to take to put this monstrous Zane Dawson down. Everett loves to come off the top rope with a variety of high flying maneuvers. He might be thinking about one of those right here. Could also be thinking about the Pele kick. If he can hit some of those kicks on the spot again, and he missed there. Big kick got nothing. Oh, he avoids the lariat again. Everett needs to make something happen here. Oh, spiked him on the canvas on the spine buster. And Zane Dawson is going to win it here. Two, no, did not get the three count. Zane looks like he, he's got to do something here to get Everett just to stay down now. It, it, Everett's heart just won't let him quit. The heart of this high flyer is off the page. Like you said, Dawson, Dawson might be coming to oh. come off the ropes here. This is not his forte. This is not where he feels comfortable like Andrew Everett would. Uh-oh, Everett. Everett may be thinking high risk here. This is his territory, Brad. He can do many things from up here. Fires away. No one is more at home on the ropes than Andrew Everett. Oh, shoved off. Landed on his feet, though. Oh! Hurricane Rana off the top there. No hands. He leaped up to the top. And Andrew Everett may be going for broke here on the top rope. This could be all here, Brad. He can hit this. Could be the shooting star. Could be the double rotation. Shooting star got nothing, but he landed on his feet. He's still hurt from earlier, though. Oh, God, the lariat just creamed Andrew Everett. And Dawson wins a nail-biter. Zane Dawson defeats Andrew Everett here at CWF Mid-Atlantic. For more incredible matches like this one, join us at youtube.com backslash CWF Mid-Atlantic. And that is the look of a very dangerous man.